welcome to, I guess you call this what, a vlog? This is a vlog. Vlog, uh, some free games. Like, we, anything we think, we're just gonna give it. Mm -hmm. And this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna inspire one of you. It's gonna really give you that insight. But okay, great. I got an idea, and that's kind of how they run it. Hopefully you'll see us. It's not rocket science, but it right. takes work. Right. Yeah. I ain't a business, man. I'm a business, man. Now let me handle my business. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess we just jump right into it. You're I not mean, even saying hi? Sometimes it's just, psh, you jump right into the video. You, know you should saying? still say hi to people, bro. Some, I, you could. So like, I, you looked at our last one, it was just, psh, yeah, I seen that home. transition. It's like, yeah, we just left. Hi. This is Nevada. I'm saying hi for both of us because he don't want to say hi to people no more. Well, let's just make to the combo. Summer challenge is like the summer challenge. The same way everyone else see the nice weather and want to be out. Mm. We feel that nice weather and want to be out. Like the beach. And like, you know, a little shorty come, hey, let's go to the beach today. It's like, shh. I got a lot of shit on the table that got to be done. You know what I'm saying? My little sister texts me. But my our, our head chef, she went to Toronto, and the whole family's in Toronto. I never missed a summer in Toronto since I was maybe one. I've been in Toronto every summer. So it was like, and we talked about this before, but it was like, boom. Now it's here. Now it's, it's, the, it's the caravan of weekend. I'm seeing the snaps. I'm getting the text. Bro, where you at? I'm seeing OVO tournaments. And I'm seeing all this. Like, okay, freak. We here, but, but that's the sacrifice. You know, and that, that's what we, we in our playoff mode. So it, it makes it a little easier to kind of block it off. But, you know, again, it's being aware of that challenge and, and knowing yourself. Maybe you're not, you're not ready to fully, mm. fully close that door and fully, you know. Because you can't play with it. No. Like, you, you know, that's, that's one of the things. Like, you can't play with, with business. Not, not a real business. You could play with that other stuff. But you can't play with no real business when there's people that are dependent on you. Mm -hmm. um, not, only not only your team and, and, mm -hmm. and, and the people that you're responsible for, but also your customers. Like, exactly. you can't play with these people's lives when they're trying to eat. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, like I'm, I, I've been paid you guys in advance exactly. for this food. So imagine if, like, your favorite restaurant, they just go on vacation in the summer. Imagine if all hotels shut down whenever there's a concert. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine if, like, I don't know, give me some imaginations. Like, do you favor restaurant clothes in the summer? Because they, they, they got to go today, mother's birthday. Because the cousin's getting but married. But it's your birthday on your favorite day, and you want to yeah. go to your favorite restaurant. Yeah. Now you birthday room. Yeah. You yeah. never, you're going to not only never go back, you're going to go on Facebook and the mother efforts mm -hmm. and go all off. You know what I'm saying? Evolution, but you're gonna go do the most. So it's like for us, yeah. People, not only that, people paid us in advance to prepare the meals for this week. Yeah. So we we especially can't. Now we talking about money already in hand, exchange. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah, no, it's, it's no playing with that. Yeah, and so and so that's the thing is like you you got to make a the Navelle, Navelle said, you know, you got to make a decision. Maybe this ain't for you. And so it's like, you know, make that real decision. Like, know why you're making the decision, and then make the decision, and then give it all you got. Because if you're not ready, like, don't lie to yourself, because once you step on that other side, man, like, it's just different. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I, I see myself making sacrifices that I never thought I would make. Mm -hmm. Like, I never thought I would miss a, a, um, a, a, a caravan a weekend. I don't even go to the, to the parade, but... I really like OVO. I really like the lineup that's popping OVO. I got some thoughts in my brain who's going to be there Monday. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know what? Let me do this because I understand why I'm doing this. You know what I mean? And, so. and here's the why. Here's the why I can be 10 hours in here when it's a beautiful day. Here's the why I can skip out on that because in five years, we wanted to be fully embracing that. You know what I'm saying? Like for me to go right now, it's a half and it's a half. Cause I'm not fully there to be able to fully enjoy it and do it how I want. I still gotta come back after and, and be back into the same this you know what I'm saying? The Force. same exactly. So it's like let's 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 put that groundwork down now and just fully alleviate, fully feel that freedom to where okay, five, ten years is it's not only Caravana, it's Italy. Mm -hmm. It's it's Greece. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's Carabana, but I got the penthouse suite mm -hmm. at the, 
the One King mm -hmm. West. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm buying out the top booth mm -hmm. at Cabana. Like and it's and it's like at the end of the day, cause we could stunt right now, mm -hmm. but guess what? Like I'm gonna feel it the next week. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like now I'm struggling again for Brent and all that shit. Exactly. So it's like, Essentially, it ain't authentic. So, like, when you balling and when you balling on a budget, it ain't real. It ain't real no, balling. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? I was and I and I ball without a budget. I ball with a budget. I I, mm -hmm. I done did it all. So I'm saying, okay, look. But I know this. I always had to go back to work, sure. and I always had to go you back to, to work harder. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You had to then make I, up. Yeah. Then I had got a little bit smart. I'm like, okay, let me pre plan. Mm -hmm. And let me let me let me work harder before I go. So then this is a reward. Mm -hmm. But then the cycle kind of continues, and then eventually you, you you know you right back in that same thing. So for me, I'm like, yo, I want to be rich forever. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, so I gotta start doing some rich forever shit. And and, and I mean, I think even the next level is you know, even because apart from the materialism, like, okay, let me do this. Let me skip Carabana so my great great grandchild can go to Greece. You know what I'm saying? So my my hundred year plan is set. So my family set for life. So it's like, you know, when I factor that in, like, okay, what's what's the weekend there? When I'm building something that my my great great grandson can look and be like, Yeah, thanks, grand, thanks, great great granddad. You know what I'm saying? So it's being in that that sacrifice and playing that long game, you know, and okay. Really, really coming out the short sight of the day to day, like, yeah, that'll be cool for right now, but what's cool a hundred years later? You know what I'm saying? So it's right now this this is what makes more sense to build that. You know, so it's being in that mindset, man, and really coming to those, you know, those, those self-realizations and getting into that place is a good place to be. Can you see the basket of apples behind the strawberry? I don't even know if that shit makes sense, yeah, makes right? Sense. But what I'm more or less thinking about, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, you know, because this conversation is around, like, you know, kind of essentially sacrifice. We always talk about sacrifice. But it's cool that we always talk about sacrifice because we really like, yo, really living, we really, really we really here right now, Caribbean a weekend on a freaking Friday. I know where I would be. You know what I mean? So like this, I needed to, I need to talk to you about sacrifice because this is really difficult for me. Mm -hmm. This ain't just easy like this. And, and the other part, we really got to talk to really stress the importance of it to you. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it's important that we hit it four times every mo a mm -hmm. month. It's important that we hit it all the time because it's important to sacrifice. Like. Yeah. It's, it sounds cliche that you can't make it real, but it's really real. Like yeah. we won't, we won't, we won't win in two months because if we didn't have this moment of being here right. on Friday, right? You know what I'm yeah. we, we go five weeks back, mm -hmm. and so it's like, can you say no mm -hmm. to the little basket of fruits that's mm -hmm. right here in front of you mm -hmm. to get to the barrel of fruits around the corner? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Can you, can you honestly like? I want a barrel of fruits. That's what I have in my brain. But someone comes to me and says, here is a basket of fruits. Yeah. You know what I mean? I already know I wanted a barrel of fruits. That's right. Why would I say yes to a barrel, to a basket? You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just like these girls and their relationships and mm -hmm. all that shit. And you, you see these girls all the time talk about they want this particular type of guy. And as soon as the particular type of guy, sorry, before that particular type of guy, they see... The guys that they, you know, but he kind of dress up nice and he look mm -hmm. like that guy. Mm -hmm. So they always, you know, end up with that guy for the moment because they didn't have the sacrifice to do it. And, and God, I, the reason why I said women is because guys, we're programmed to take the low-hanging fruit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, right? Like, and that's real shit. Like, women, you guys got a different level of kind of like, you know, I, I respect women because they, they, they got a little bit more sacrifice in them. They got a little bit more hold off when it comes to like men and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Men don't got that. They taking the low hanging fruit every single time. So I, I really wanted to kind of talk to it no, in the sure. sense like, yeah, like, you know, but if you really know what you want, like if, if, if you say you want something, don't take less. Exactly. Period. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like period. There's no way around it. Like you're this is what yourself. I want. You're doing yourself a disservice. Right. Until the basket. No, sorry. I don't know where my brain at. I went up early. Mm -hmm. Until the barrel come, miss me with the basket, it's man. Like, it's a beautiful part. It's right? like, you know, it's psychology 101, delaying instant gratification. And I think I said this before. They did a study on, like, four-year-olds. They, they told them first, hey, we're going to put you in a room with a cookie. If you don't eat the cookie in front of you for 10 minutes, you'll get two cookies after that. If you hold off for 20 minutes, you'll get three cookies. But there's one cookie here right now. So 
They put them in, like 10 kids, five of them ate the cookie right away. Three of them waited 20 minutes and got two. There's like two of them now waited, could wait to 30 and they got four. And they tracked these kids. This is a science. You can go read the Google and go read the, the, um, the academic journal or whatever it's called. They tracked these kids till they were 19, 20. And the 50% the of kids that ate the cookie right away had the worst grades. You know, they had the mm -hmm. most paying jobs. They lived the quote unquote worst lives. The second half kids lived a little better. The third kids who could wait 30 minutes to delay their instant gratification were the CEOs, were the, were the millionaires. And that's, that don't happen by chance. You know what I'm saying? So when I heard it, I'm like, yo, that's the clearest point. Being able to delay that instant gratification, being able to sacrifice. Here's this, this what do you say, not the barrel. What's the first one? Here's this, the basket. this basket, but I know a barrel's there. And if I eat this basket, I'm not getting to the barrel. So, okay, here, let me hold off on the basket. Let me close my eyes. Let me move over. And it goes for anything, man. Like, let me reach around the basket. You know what I'm saying? And keep on going. Mm -hmm. And that's, so, so, this, so this is what's so crazy, too. Because as I'm hearing him say this, like, I'm instantly seeing, like, the hood. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sure. instantly seeing, like, every motherfucker in the streets. Now, I curse. Mm -hmm. My apologies. I'm instantly seeing everybody who ever entered the streets because it was easy. Mm -hmm. Easy, accessible, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I thought about something. I'm like, you know what's crazy is, one, no one never really told you to wait on the barrel, mm -hmm. right? But two, no one never showed you right. how you're going to get the barrel, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. all you ever see is that low-hanging fruit, that one that's right in front of you. Mm -hmm. And there's no map, there's no nothing that tells you how to get there. And so I think, like, you know, we, we, we trick kids into believing in themselves, but then we don't show them what it means and what it looks like to believe. And so, and that's really why it's, like, it's important, man. Like, you know, it's really important that people start helping people map it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, help people map it out. So, like, if you've been through some things and you know some things, man, give it. Like, you know what I mean? What do it hurt, what do it hurt me to tell you? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the, like honestly. Like, what does it hurt me to tell you how to do something? That's right. You know what I mean? And so I think, yeah, like, that's the part. It's like, yeah, how you, like, maybe you should tell that kid, like, you know, obviously that was a test, but, like, maybe tell that kid, like, if you wait, if you just think about something else mm -hmm. or if you breathe a certain way or, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. give him some type of tool that he could work with so that he could wait on the big cook. I ain't a businessman. I'm a business, man. Now let me handle my business.